हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस नाउ लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट स्प्लेनिक एब्सेस स्प्लेनिक एब्सेस इज अ रेयर कंडीशन एंड दिस स्प्लेनिक एब्सेस इफ यू सी स्प्लेनिक एब्सेस इट इज अ रेयर कंडीशन so the mortality rate of splenic abscess can be of two type it can differ based on the um, type of the abscess so if you see if the abscess is unilocular abscess if the abscess is unilocular abscess and if this abscess occurs in a healthy person then the mortality rate will be 80% if it is a multilocular abscess multilocular abscess which is present in immunocompromised person If it is a multilocular abscess in immunocompromised person, then the mortality rate will be around eighty percent. Sorry, sorry. If the unilocular abscess in healthy patient, then the mortality will be one fifteen to twenty percent. Whereas if this splenic abscess occurs in multilocular immunocompromised person, then the mortality rate will be eighty percent. Now, uh, then if you were asked what is the predisposing factors. predisposing factors of uh, include uh, we have malignancy then there is polycythemia vera the predisposing factors include malignancy polycythemia vera then iv drug abuse uh, then these include hiv positive individuals then this includes hemoglobinopathy and this also includes uti and also includes urinary tract infection so all these are the predisposing factors now if you were asked what is the most common organism involved in splenic abscess most common organism involved in splenic abscess is staphylococcal aureus then if you were asked what are the other organisms involved in splenic abscess other organisms responsible include we have streptococcus then we have salmonella organisms like streptococcus salmonella and gram negative enteric bacilli gram negative and enteric bacilli these are the organisms which are responsible for splenic abscess then if you were asked one more one liner which fungus what is the fungal abscess okay about fungal splenic abscess this fungal splenic abscess is mainly caused by candida organisms and it is most commonly seen in hiv positive individuals who are immunocompromised who are immunocompromised so this is fungal splenic abscess now what about the clinical features of splenic abscess now clinical features of splenic abscess include presence of abdominal pain then there will be tenderness with peritonitis presence of abdominal pain with the tenderness with peritonitis is present and there is also pruritic chest pain there is pruritic chest pain so these are the main clinical features of splenic abscess then if you were asked what is the investigation investigation of splenic abscess investigation of choice is CECT is the investigation of choice. Then, if you were asked about the treatment of splenic abscess, intra unilocular abscess, unilocular abscess causes drainage. Unilocular abscess, the treatment of unilocular abscess is mainly drainage and antibiotics. Then, if you were asked what is the treatment of multilocular abscess, multilocular abscess is mainly splenectomy. with drainage of left upper quadrant splenectomy with drainage of left upper quadrant and antibiotics are given so multilocular abscess includes splenectomy with drainage of left upper quadrant and antibiotics so this is about the splenic abscess thank you for watching thank you and thank you for watching